Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech, another video for you. This is the review of the Frost Spirit 140 White V3 from Thermalrite. It's big, it's bold, and it's RGB. Let's get into this. So, I've got benchmarks. I want to get that over with, and then we can have a talk. So, I've done 3D Mark CPU test. Idles were 33, Max was 63 Celsius. Cinebench R20, idle was 31, max was 65, Cinebench R23 was 34 Celsius, and the max was 65. Ada 64 without AV, uh, AVX instructions was idle at 34, max was at 57, uh, 53, sorry, and that's a five minute test for both. Then I did uh, Ada 64 with AVX instructions on. Idle was 32, Max was 73. That's done. That's the benchmarks over with. So let's get into looking at the cooler. Right, so we got the cooler by you now. You've seen the benchmarks, the performance testing is good. This is one huge, huge uh, air cooler. If the PLS Assassin is big, this is bigger. Now it's got a 140 millimeter ARGB fan, which is four pin PWM right in the middle. Then it's got a 120, which is also PWM as well as sleeve, as well as ARGB. Now this pushes loads of air, but you compromise the sound. This is loud. It's kind of becoming a theme with Thermalrite. I don't think they really care about uh, acoustics. Or, sorry, not acoustics, noise, because the aesthetics of this air cooler is fantastic. I mean, look at that. I mean, look. It is huge. I mean, how can you get something so big? Well, I have got one particular air cooler that is actually bigger. And that would be the Frost Commander. No RGB. It's basically... Two 140 millimeter fans on each side. It's huge. It makes this look like a tinderbox. This is bigger than the Apelos Assassin, but it also has more features. It has more RGB. It has bigger. It's also the the uh, air cooler design is similar, but this seems to have more fins, more more heat pipes, and as you know, I love love RGB. I'm an RGB snob, I will always be an RGB snob, I don't care what anyone says, but still. Now, you could initially get one of these 120s from Thermorite, get another pair of clips and put another 120 there. Now, that would be huge. And fortunately, I haven't got any other 120mm ARGB fans yet. I have from the PLS Assassin, but the box is up there and I can't be asked. But if anyone wants to see that, please comment down below and I will try and make a video out of it because I would love to see either this or the Peerless Assassin on all three with three fans on it and see what the performance is like with literally eight heat pipes. It's huge. I mean, look at the size in the heat pipes. They're huge. But look, right, the performance is there. The aesthetics is fantastic. It's a big ass cooler, but is it worth it? I believe this is a little bit more expensive than the PLS Assassin, but it's also a bit bigger. So, I mean, it's up to you. That is your prerogative. If you want to buy it, then I will try and find a link. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to check me on TikTok, Facebook, and my Instagram, Welshy Tech, and my Discord. Go get that link now. Start chatting with me. You can get all behind the scenes. So, this is Richard Welsh Tech. Goodbye.